name is Cesar Espiritu, and I'm a family practice physician. I did my medical school in, in Memorial University of Newfoundland in Canada. Because it's in a rural area, they focused a lot on family medicine and primary care. Residency, I started out at USC, at San Gabriel, and the program uh, closed down after a year. And after searching high and low for another residency to accept me in a second year position, I found a position in Kansas City. The, the hospital is called Research Medical Center, and uh, I started here at PIH um, right out of residency. I've always believed in primary care, and I've always wanted to be a primary care physician. This, I believe, stems from when I was a child getting sick all the time. I, I, I was just blessed with very gifted and very nice physicians who could make me feel comfortable and who could talk to me at my level. And I saw that as a positive thing, and I used that as a role model. It's a very valuable asset to be able to communicate with patients, but it's also a learned skill. I've always been taught you have two ears and one mouth for a reason. You listen twice before you talk. Although I talk quite a bit. <laughs> this is one of the ways I connect with my patients, is to use humor um, when appropriate. Most of the time you have to be very serious, especially if you're dealing with serious illnesses. But you have to find fun and enjoyment in what you do. And I do find that in medicine. If I weren't a doctor, I would be a photographer. I used to hike, and I still do when I get a chance uh, to different places just to find a good shot, uh, even if it takes us four hours to get there. I, I used to play tennis with my wife, which that, that actually has been put on hold for the meantime, being busy with the kids. Uh, the, the children actually take most of my time at this moment. I volunteered at a wetland in Marina del Rey. I, I wanted to do something for the community and that's, that's something that I could do in my spare time. I, I think the success of a community is really dependent on the overall health, more than, just, more than just the individual health. And this will have to take into account good lifestyle, good access to health, um, and uh, and, 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 and good individual care. I, I think PIH Health really reaches out to the community in a way that, that, that goes above and beyond what a hospital system normally does.